Okay, so another interesting problem here, we have the square root of 100 factorial times the square root of 100 factorial, just like that. As you can see, every square root is inside of another square root that is outside it. So let's see what to do with this. I'm actually going to begin by writing down this as powers or indices. So this is 100 factorial to the power 1 half. That's what the square root means. Times, I come to this second one here, that's 100 factorial. And what's the power here? Now we have this square root here, which represents 1 half. But we also have this square root here, which represents another 1 half. So 1 half times 1 half, that's a quarter. Okay, so this is to power 1 over 4, because it has two square roots. So the next, that's 100 factorial. And what's the power that's going to be 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which is 1 over 8. And lastly, we have 100 factorial to the power 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which is 1 over 16. Nice. I'll do the same down here. That's 99 factorial to the power 1 half times 99 factorial to the power a quarter times uh, 99 factorial to the power 1 over 8 times 99 oops, factorial to the power 1 over 16. So this one here is 16th root of 10 to the power x. So that's 10 to the power x to the power 1 over 16. That's the 16th root. Okay, now if you can see here we have the same bases. That means I can just add up the powers. So I can write this as 100 factorial to the power. So let's see here we have 1 half. We add the powers, of course, since these are the same bases that we are multiplying. 1 half plus 1 quarter plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16. Let's see what that is. 16 divided by 2, that's 8, 4, 2, and 1. Okay, that's 12. Uh, that's 15 over 16, okay? So, 15 divided by 16. Nice. All this divided by, uh, we'll do the same here, 99 factorial to the power 15 over 16. All this equals, let's see, this is actually 10 to the power x over 16. You just multiply the powers, x times 1 over 16, that's going to be x out of 16. Okay, nice. So let's see what follows next. We're almost there. So what I'm going to do is to write this as 100 factorial divided by 99 factorial. Since they all have the same power, I could just write the power up here. 15 over 16. All this equals 10 to the power x over 16. Nice. There we go. So I can write this out as... 100 times 99 factorial, just this 100 here, okay? All this divide by 99 factorial to the power 15 over 16. This equals 10 to power x over 16. So you can clearly see that this cancels out with this. And what do we have now? We just have 100 to the power s. 100 to the power 15 over 16 equals 10 to the power x over 16, which is nice. So I can write this as 10 squared, 10 squared to the power 15 over 16 equals 10 to the power x over 16. And now I can multiply these powers here. That's going to be 10 to the power. 30 over 16 equals 10 to the power x over 16. So, as you can see, we have the same bases. So, this can only be equal if the powers are also equal. So, I therefore have 30 out of 16 equals x out of 16, which implies that x is, oops, 30.
Okay, so there yeah, we have a final solution to this problem. That's a nice one. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. I drop math videos every week. And I'll see you in my next problem. Bye.